In our last video, we have gone through the cardinal order of two sets. Now we come to relations. We come to relations. And we try to understand by some example. For example, if A is a set containing 1, 2, 3, B is a set containing 1, 4, 9, and R such that from A to B defined by less than. So we see that R here is, R is less than 4, R is also less than 9, 2 is less than 4 and 9, 3 is less than 4 and 9, and so R is 1, 4, 1, 9. 2, 4 and 2, 9. So we have a set A and B containing 1, 2, 3 and 1, 4, 9. And what we see is that each member of set B is a square of the corresponding member of A. We have defined a relation R from A to B defined by less than. So we can write R as 1, 4, 1, 9, 2, 4, 2, 9, 3, 4, 3, 9. So this is set. Now, at the same time, we try to find A cross B. Cartesian product of A, this is equal to 1, 1, 1, 4, and 1, 9. Similarly, 2, 1, 2, 4, and 2, 9 and 3, 9 sorry and 3, 1 3, 4 and 3, 9 so what we see here is that R is a subset of A cross B 1, 4 is there 1, 9 is there, 2, 4 is there, 2, 9 is there. And therefore, this R is a subset of A cross B. And hence, we have a definition or relations. And definition is, let A and B are two non-empty sets. R is a relation from A to B. Then, then, if R is a subset of A cross B, then we say R is a relation. This is the definition. Now we take up some examples to understand this topic. Question is, If A is equal to 1, 2, 3, B is equal to 4, 5, 6, then we have to see whether R is equal to 1, 6, 3, 4 and 5, 2 is a relation or not. So we have to check it. So we have to understand it by drawing a Venn diagram. 
let A and B are two given sets containing 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6. Are relations from A to B? <coughs> if the R is a relation, then it should be subset of A cross B, so we find A cross B first. A cross B. This is 1, 4. 1, 4, 1, 2, 1. One four, one five, and one six. And similarly, two four, two five, two six, two four, two five, and two six. And third one is three four, three five, three six, three four, three five, and three six. So we have a cross b is this. So let us see now. If this is subset of this, 1, 6 is here, 1, 6 is here, 3, 4 is here, 3, 4 is here, 5, 2 is there, 5, 2 is not here. And therefore, R is not a subset of A cross B. Because 5, 2 is not there in A cross B. And therefore, R is not a subset of, therefore R is not a relation. Hence, R is not a relation. Let us see again whether One five two six three four and three six the relation or not. So we do the same, draw a Venn diagram. This is A, this is B, this is one, two, three. This is 4, 5, 6. So we draw right down the A cross B first. The addition R is defined from A to B. A cross B first. So this is 1, 4, 1, 5, 1, 6. 1, 4, 1, 5, and 1, 6. Similarly, 2, 4, 2, 5, 2, 6. 2, 4, 2, 5, and 2, 6. And similarly, 3, 4, 3, 5, and 3, 6. Now, this is R. What we see here is 1, 5 is there, 1, 5 is here, 2, 6 here, 2, 6 is there, 3, 4 is here, 3, 4 is here, 3, 6 is there, 3, 6 is here. Therefore, R is a subset of A cross B. Hence, R is a condition. And this is how we can define addition. If A is equal to if A is equal to 2, 3, 4, 5 and B is equal to 3, 6, 7, 10. X, Y belongs to R employs that and employed by X divides Y. Find R. Find R and R inverse also. So we have two sets A and B. 
थ्री इज टू थ्री फोर फाइव बी इज थ्री सिक्स सेवन टेन एंड वी हैव रिलेशन बिटवीन दिस एंड दिस डिफाइंड एज एक्स डिवाइड वाई दीज आर द एक्स एलिमेंट दीज आर वाई एलिमेंट एंड सो एक्स डिवाइड वाई टू डिवाइड सिक्स टू डिवाइड टेन थ्री डिवाइड थ्री थ्री डिवाइड सिक्स फोर डिवाइड नथिंग इन फाइव मार्क्स डिवाइड टेन ओनली एंड सो आर इज टू सिक्स टू टेन थ्री 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 सिक्स एंड फाइव टेन एक्स डिवाइड वाई टू डिवाइड सिक्स टू डिवाइड टेन एंड सो टू सिक्स टू टेन थ्री 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 सिक्स तो आर इज दिस एंड सिमिलरली You can find R inverse. You reverse this six to ten to three three six three and ten five. This is R inverse. We have another question. We have two sets. A is one two three. B is three four. If R is defined by less than, then find R. This is the question. So we do again the same. Draw a Venn diagram like this. This is A. This is B. A is one, two, three. This is three and four. Relation R from A to B is <coughs> defined by less than. So as we know, one is less than three. One is less than four, also. Two is less than three, and two is less than four. Three is not less than three, but three is less than four. Here, we write R. R means addition. That means one is less than three. R means less than this. One is less than four. Two is less than three, and so on. If we write R as one three, one four, two three, two four, and three four. So this is the division set. So we define. Relation R, a set from A to B, defined by R is the subset of A cross B. This is the definition. Here, we try to understand by Venn diagram. This is A, this is B. There are certain numbers here. And certain number here, and there is relation between the element of A and element of B. If R is subset of A cross B, then we say there is relation defined. This is called domain 
and this is what we speak, say range. If R is defined, then this is domain, this is range. R is a relation from A to A two for five to B. One, two, three, four, six, eight. Defined by defined by X R Y employees and employed by X divides Y. Question is find domain and range. So here we draw a wind arrow. This is A and this is B. A contains 2, 4, 5. B contains 1, 2, 3, 4. 6, 8. x to y as x divided y. So, we see here, this is domain, this is codomain, this is range, this is r. Two divides two, 2 divide 4 and 2 divide 6, 2 divide 8. We write 2 R 2, 2 R 4, 2 R 6, 2 R 8. Similarly here, uh, 4 never divide 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 divide 4 and 4 divide 8. Four divide four and four divide eight. And similarly, five divide nothing. So this is all about R is equal to two 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 four two six two eight four four and four eight. So domain of R is equal to 2, only 2, and 4. And range of R is equal to 2, 4, 6, 8. We take as a question. If R is a relation such that from 11, 12, and 13 to 8, 10, and 12. Defined by y is equal to x minus 3. Then point R inverse. And so R is a relation from this set to this set which is defined by y is equal to x minus 3. Now we have to find R inverse, inverse set. So we try to find out first the residual set. This is A and this is B. This is A, this is B. This contains 11, 12, and 13. And this contains 8, 10, and 12.
y is equal to x minus 3 is the definition. So putting x is equal to 11, so y is equal to 11 minus 3, 8. Putting y is equal to 12, 12 minus 3 is 9. And y is equal to 13 minus 3 is 10. So what we see here is that corresponding to the values of 11, 12 and 13 we have y as 8, 10 and 12. So we have x into this and 12 to 9 is not there and 13 related to 3 means 10. So when we put x equal to 11, the question whether y is 8. So 11 and 8 correspond together. 12 and 9 does not correspond to because 9 is not here. 13, 12. 13 minus 3 is 10. 13 corresponds to 10. And so R is equal to 11, 8 and 13, 10. And therefore R inverse is equal to 8, 11 and 10, 13. If A and B are non-empty sets containing M and N elements, then the total number of ordered pair will be M N. And at the same time, total number of relations, this is very important, is equal to 2 to the power mn. 